Okay. No paparazzi this time. No, no gimmicks, no tie, no Dreamville shirt, no suit. Uh, let's talk about what happened last night at Dreamville Fest. J. Cole gave a three-minute speech apologizing to Kendrick Lamar. And first I want to say I am shocked at how many Cole fans hate Kendrick and how many Kendrick fans hate Cole. I was under the assumption that if you had one as your number one, you probably had the other in your top five. Cole's my favorite of all time. Kendrick's my second. I said to Pimp Butterfly is the best album made of all time. Like, I am shocked at how how divided this fandom is and how many people came out of, like, the fucking force to be like, to Pimp Butterfly is the worst album ever. It was boring the whole time. So that was... That wasn't great for the uh, for the culture. I thought we were all like, I thought the Drake fans were the ones who were kind of like on the outside, who were like, I really like pop music and stuff. And then the, the Cole and Kendrick fans were like, ah, oh, but we like the Contras album stuff. So that shocked me. Um, Cole fucked up. Let let's be real, he messed up. I was confused because I got in many arguments with people who were like, yeah, Cole shouldn't have said. Like, I feel like Muhammad Ali right now. Like that was a shot. I thought that was just an artist saying he's the best right now. I think every I've said as a rapper, I'm the best rapper right now. Like who hasn't said that? So I never saw that as a shot. So when people were saying Cole has to respond to Kendrick, I was on the side of why. I feel like it was just competitive sparring. So if Cole was gonna respond, I think he could have just done competitive sparring back. So let's talk about the actual diss in seven minute drill. He fucked up going at Kendrick's discography. I'll be real, I don't know how anyone, I don't know how Cole's studio works specifically. If Ebe or someone in the studio can tell him, like, yo, that line isn't good, maybe, like, do a different line. Because going at Kendrick's discography was just, like, the one diss you couldn't make because we all know how good his discography was. So I think he low-key saw the reaction to everyone saying, like, that was a bad diss, and he was like, oh, shit, like, I like the discography too, like, that was probably a bad line. But also, I thought he had some good lines. He said, um, you drop a hot verse every 30-month average. Like, that's facts. Kendrick does not drop a lot. I don't think people were that impressed with, like, the hillbillies and everything. So he was spitting with that. He made some short jokes. Like, that's what you can, That's all you can really do with Kendrick. Like, you're, you're too short to box with the god. So I think if he kept it, like, lyrical and just, like, doing that type of shit, like, this whole thing would have been fine. Just going at his discography is where he fucked up. And him taking it back. I think this is like the common sentiment from the objective view of this. Really dope is like a person move. It's the most J. Cole move ever. It's probably why I really like him because I'm the type of person that I've apologized to a friend for something they did to me, but I felt so anxious about the fight that I somehow ended up apologizing to them. So that might be a re the reason I love Cole so much. And I said this from the start. I never thought he wanted to do this in the first place. Everyone said it didn't feel like his heart was in it. So... Him taking it back, not the best look for a competitive rapper who's been saying he's the best forever. This won't change how I feel about J. Cole. He's still my favorite rapper of all time. Also, can we talk about Mike Delete later? What a fire album. Like, oh my God, this guy is spitting. And I think that's amazing. So I think that should still be celebrated. This is a very unfortunate position as a J. Cole fan, but also a Kendrick fan. Because I think this also makes the Kendrick disc look like it was crazy. That disc still wasn't that amazing. Like, Motherfuck the big three. It's just big me. Boom. But I guess that's where we're at right now. Maybe Drake will respond. But yeah, not the best move by Cole. I don't know how this will affect the fall-off rollout excitement level. I, this hasn't changed my excitement level for it. It's an album he's been teasing since 2018. And I, I don't think the casual rap fan even cares about this that much. But the hip-hop Twitter rap fan, they are pulling lyrics out like crazy. I think it's unfair. I really did not know this many people hated J. Cole secretly or hated Kendrick Lamar secretly or hated... Well, the Drake hate has been very out there. But, hey, this was the most J. Cole move he could have possibly made. And Dreamville Fest was cool. Their microphones were not working for most of the songs, so that was pretty disappointing. It was a bad night for Dreamville. It wasn't a great all-around night. But Jid said the album's done, baby. Let's get it, Jidro. That's kind of awkward, actually, now that I think of it. Um, damn it. Also, to anyone who's asked, To Pimp a Butterfly was hung up back in my room right away. It's the best album ever made. I've never switched up on saying that. And I'm going to go to the gym right now and listen to Mike Delete later and enjoy my time. Good night. Good morning. Good afternoon. I feel like Truman. Fuck.